Hello everyone, and welcome to Project 2. Today we're going to be making a spaceship interface. So, as with any Arduino project, we're going to need two things. An Arduino, and a breadboard. And let's start off by rotating these two things vertically, and getting them nice and centered on our screen. And now, let's grab the components that we're going to need for today. We are going to need four different kinds of components. A push-button switch, we are going to need three LEDs, one of which should be green, and we're going to need four resistors, one of which needs to be a 10 kilo ohm resistor, that is 10 K omega. The other two are going to be 220 ohm, which means we need to go down and click the little omega. Great. And then we're going to need some wires. Let's get started. First thing we do is hook up our power to our breadboard. You can do this by running a nice red wire. I prefer red because it makes everything nice and easy to understand. And then we need to run a return wire, which I make black, just to also be easier to understand. Now it's time to actually put our components on the board. Let's highlight them all, rotate them, and put them on the board. First thing I need to say about these LEDs is that they are polarized. It matters which direction you plug them in. It's important that th you realize the straight end is the negative end and the bent end is the positive end. But let's go ahead and start hooking them up. Let's grab our resistors and bring them over to our breadboard and we're going to hook them up to the negative end. We are going to be connecting the negative end of the LED to the negative return rail. Then we're going to take some yellow data wires. Uh, let me scoot this over so we have a little more room. We're going to be taking some yellow wires and we're going to be running them out of pins 5, 4, and 3. Like this. 5, 4, and 3. And then we're going to take a green wire because we're going to need to have a green wire for our switch, and we're going to connect that to pin 2. And let's put that about there. And we're going to want to grab our switch, rotate it a little bit, and place it so that it can they can connect. And then we're going to take our 10 kilo ohm resistor, and we're going to connect, to connect the negative to the ground. Then we're going to run a last red wire from here to here. And there we go. That's our hardware. It's that simple. Now we're going to open up our code, change it to text, delete the text that's in here already, and start writing our code. The first thing we do is create an, int a, uh, an integer variable called switch state that's going to start off as zero. And then we're going to enter our setup function, which is something that happens at the very beginning before our main function runs. This lets you take care of some miscellaneous tasks before your program starts running. Things like telling the computer what ports to listen to, which is what I'm doing right now. Pins 3, 4, and 5 are going to be output pins, sending data to these LEDs. But pin 2 wants to, is going to need to be our input pin, because we want to listen to see if the switch is being pressed. And that wraps up our setup. Now we move into our loop. So, in our loop function, we're going to basically, every time the program runs in the loop, we're going to check and see if the switch is being pressed. And then, we're going to start seeing what to do if it's being pressed. So, if the switch is not being pressed, well, then let's have the green LED, let's have that one turn on. So let's say, hey, digital write, pin 3 high, which means, hey, send a powerful signal, a high voltage, to pin 3. And let's turn off the other two. So digital write uh, 4 and 5 low. Basically send them no signal. And now we have what happens if it's not being pressed. What happens if it is being pressed? Well. That's when we have our else statement. So if the switch is not being pressed, it'll do what's in here. Otherwise, 
let's have it do what's in these curly brackets. Let's make it blink. So digital right, pin three low, digital right, pin four low, digital right, pin five high, just like that. And now we're gonna make it blink. So what we have so far is the green one's off, the middle one's off, and the top one's on. So let's wait 250 milliseconds or a quarter of a second. And then let's turn on the middle one. And let's turn off the top one. And then let's wait another 250 milliseconds before running the program again. So that's our code. Let's see if it works. So when we run our code, the green LED comes on. And when we push the button, nothing happens. What is going on? Why are the other two LEDs not blinking? We run into our first bug. So let's go back through our code and make sure everything makes sense. Oh, but our code is fine. It's actually this little silly wire right here that's wrong. It needed to be up here so that it can connect the power rail to the top of our switch. Silly me. So when we run our code again, when we press the button, we can now see that they're blinking approximately every quarter of a second. So there we go. And when we let go of it, the green light should come back on and they should stop blinking. There you go. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next project.